Hi, it's Randy. Sorry about that. I'm back with part two, continuing the article, uh, why your boyfriend doesn't initiate sex. So reason number three, the fear of rejection. At the bottom of it all is a dirty, shameful secret. These men are terrified of being rejected by women. Terrified. Overcoming fear of rejection is the most frequent conversation I have in the coaching that I do. Due to everything we've discussed already and combined with genetic predispositions, we all have around social harmony. Nice guys associate rejection with feelings of intense anxiety, a constant dread. I know men who are quite successful with women yet still feel massive approach anxiety. The thought of going up to a girl and telling her that she's gorgeous loosens their bowels. Nice guys require alcohol, signs of attraction, anonymity, online dating, long-term friendship, and other crutches before they can feel safe to express attraction. Some never do it, even once the relationship has started. Expressing attraction is a risk-taking behavior. The fear, nice guys, the fear gives nice guys a sickening feeling linked to thoughts about what would happen if the attraction is not reciprocated. When I ask my clients, what are you actually afraid will happen, their answers are never clear beyond a few vague hints at reputation and embarrassment. They're so afraid of rejection, they can't even explore the idea of it without support. Some can't even admit to it, yet their behavior shows avoidance of social rejection in every area of life. Example, sticking with a job that they hate because they're afraid to ask for a promotion. This can continue well after a romantic relationship is established. I used to think that every time a girl I was seeing said no to sex, that it was all over. Often it was, but this was actually due to my other people-pleasing behaviors, and I didn't see that. I didn't see that, so I just further reinforced the false belief about rejection. Men in relationships continue to be sexually passive because of the underlying fear that sexual rejection rejection will signal the end of the relationship entirely. It's like Billy Connolly once said, women need to feel loved to have sex and men need to have sex to feel loved. I am not advocating sexual assault, of course. No means no. But waiting for a clear invitation before even suggesting interest is weakly passive and will leave many women waiting in vain. Men have to take a risk. Part of masculinity is assertiveness. But they often don't because after validation, they don't need to chase, which is the fourth reason. Women who email me each week often ask why their guy stopped trying after the initial three to six month courtship. What happened to the roses and dinner and, and romantic sexual gestures? Often this stuff ends shortly after you've put out for the first time. It is because nice guys are just shallow manipulative sex or is it because nice guys are just shallow manipulative sex friends? Well, actually no. What's happening is the guy is trying to feel good about himself. He has been conditioned to worship and seek the approval of women. Remember all the female teachers? And he can't function without that approval. The courtship was not really romance. It was a misguided and unhealthy attempt to receive your validation. Once you give that validation, like have sex, they can finally relax, which often means no more effort at all. One thing I've noticed about truly confident men, they do not cheat, chase. They make their desires known directly and encourage you to either accept or reject them. If you try to string them along, they get bored and they move on. They will participate in courtship, but only if there's an equal investment. They will, in other words, they will only chase if you chase back. 
sex is the ultimate validation for the poor damaged nice guy. I say this with love because I used to be one. When a nice guy gets laid, he finally feels that he has received your acceptance. So he no longer has any reason to keep manipulating you into liking him. It has nothing to do with how attracted he is to you because it was never about you. Next reason is feelings of worthlessness. You can imagine what happens to a man over time when he's programmed to see sex as the only proof that he's a good person. He starts to feel worthless when he doesn't get it and chasing sex feels like a chore that he doesn't even get to enjoy. And worst of all, he creates a pattern that amplifies this effect because he is so passive around sex waiting for you to initiate, he rarely gets it. He's not making any effort to turn you on or initiate because he's waiting for you to make a move. And that that he doesn't even really want because sex now feels like a job to him. So you think he's not interested and sex just stops happening. Now he feels even more worthless. In his mind, even his partner doesn't want him. And when you finally do get drunk or frustrated enough to give in and initiate, it only...